what's going on guys labar of soap here and today i am hoping that we can finish up the brave summer 2019 special event now let's go to fairly terrifying as the girls settle down near the veil tales of the old beasts come to the fore as they settle down for the night all right let's see what's going on here You've really done it now. I'll do it. I will. Yeah! Leo, no! <sighs> Whoa! The two thugs stare in complete disbelief as the concealed rapier hidden in the old man's cane deftly repels their clumsy daggers. Bewildered, they scatter, their long shadows cast by the settling sun melding with the silhouettes of the ruins. Ah, uh, hey, Grandpa. Might just be me, but you seem pretty capable of defending yourself. Safety in numbers? Yeah, when you're not the one on the business end of a pointy object. Ho oh, ho! Well, I don't want to have to draw my blade. Long ago, were my days fighting alongside my brother and sister in the wolves' eyes. It's been years, and we've no sign of Lord Bailiff all this while. This old wolf's tired, lassie. Tired of blood and fire. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Lord? Bafer? That sounds familiar. Oh, it's Balefur. Senny's eyes flicker to the old man's cane and tattered cloak. The glint of an old cracked medallion in the shape of a glaring eye catches the sunlight as it hangs from his neck. Wait, that's just like the traitors that came from our village. That came to our village. Uh, well, Grandpa, funny story. We were just about to be on our way. Glad you're safe and all that, so, uh, get home before it gets dark. All right, bye now. Senny grabs Krista by her wrist and, wrist and starts power walking away from the old man, much to the Jelly Princess's confusion. Once comfortably out of earshot, Krista throws a backwards grant, glance at the ruins. Ow, I was going to ask if he could tell us more about the place. Remember what I said about the weirdos that came to our village? Yeah, just like that guy. Though it seems like that he's a lot older than them, which could only mean whatever organization they belong to goes back for years. <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. That long ago? Wow. Where do we go next, Senny? The town's leveled, so we have a pretty good view of our choices from here. I know, let's head north. I've heard so many tales about the North Stars and the way they guide the seas. It's getting dark anyway, and I think we should try to stay away from these ruins. Hope we find a lake or something. The water in this bubble's getting a bit low. Oh no, you're right. Then we absolutely have to find one soon. Looks like they're finding a lake. Wow. Here it is. As the sun dipped beneath the horizon, the girls find themselves taking shelter in a glowing grove. The woods seem to sprawl to larger with every step, their great trunks looming above in silence. Ah, I think I'm starting to see things. Where are we going in circles? That little lake there feels so far away, but I swear it's just over that line of trees. Let's take a break. The girls settled down. Oh, <laughs> the girls settled down on the most comfortable patch of grass they could find. Twilight bl uh, blinks down on them, a small collection of growing po glowing points in the cloud shrouded sky. Krissa, how do you feel? I'm all right. Jell isn't complaining. I know we can get to the lake soon. Okay, but you have to tell me right away if you feel terrible. I will. Thank you, Senny. 
So, what's summer without campfire stories, huh? Trading tales on the stars ought to lift your spirits a little. God damn it. Anything interesting you've got to share? Hmm. Well, not too long ago when Naga talked to me. What? I didn't think much of it, really, because I couldn't leave the water. Come on. Well, he was old and grouchy and kind of scarred all over. He told me about a lake in the forest. Kind of like this one, now that I think about it. Horrible place, filled with fiery beasts and dangers beyond what you can imagine, he said. Something about vicious fangs, bloodthirsty roars, and glowing eyes. Ah! Ah! S sorry! Uh, must have been a twig. Wait, did you hear anything? Oh! Can we start screaming now? A huge, earthly monster pokes its bulbous head out of the foliage and emerges into the dim light. Hello! It talks! Oh good, humans who don't run away. So hard to find those these days. What do you mean? The large monster releases its tendril-like arms and pops out a small carrot-shaped miniature version of itself. I hate to leave my little child alone, but I have to settle some things. My boy's in your hands now. Be nice. Wait, what? We didn't agree to anything. Hmm. Oh, don't fret. He is a little angel. I'll be back in a jiffy. Uh, okay. Guess we'll do our best. Oh boy, what's uh, what's the trick here? What's the trick gonna be for this story? Let's uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get in there. Gotta love this story. Love it. Okay. Sweet little monster. He likes when you need a new. You kids play nice now. Sweet little monster. Awful wretch. Nasty. Look. Malicious attack. What? Can we attack it? Oh god. Can we lose if we kill it? Can we lose if we kill this man's child? Let's see. I wonder what's gonna happen if we kill the kid. Med! Vile spit. He spit on us. He's looking at us. He's attacking us. This small child. Alright, I guess we'll find out if we kill it. You guys think we lose? Oh. Darling, did you call for me? Oh, my sweet child, don't cry. You think you can... Oh, oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Seems like we angered the monster man. Well, I guess he's just bouncing around now. Just bouncing around. Yep, smoke wind. Evil power. Ooh. And he's looking at us. Ooh, malicious. Ugh. Oh. It's sneering. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Oh my goodness. What an asshole. Uh. Oh, stack the kid, I guess. I don't know. It worked last time. Screeching. He's just, he's just doing these things. What a shitty kid. Yeah! Just beat this kid up. Okay. Wonder if we're doing anything horribly wrong. Oh, 
my boy. All right. Do we get to actually fight him now? The mother? Yes. The mother. Fight the big mother monster. This is kind of a funny meme. This is like uh, entitled moms and their kids. One of those memes. It's a pretty strong monster, considering. Oh, there goes our. Uh, Stuff. What? Oh. Oh. Oh ho ho. First slow looking ass. You're right. You know, child wouldn't even hurt a fly, yada yada yada. Yep. Wasn't it the father that dropped the kid off? So now there's just a, a mo the mother here now? Well, hopefully the father doesn't attack us, that'd be, uh, probably much worse. Because the mother monster does not seem, uh, too bad. We just got slapped again. We just got absolutely bitch slapped. Alright, there we go. I believe we just murdered the mother. Or not. Never mind. They left. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. We just killed the mother. So, Alright, so there's no real uh strategy to that. It's just taking out the uh kid. That's cool. Alright, we got a gem. Downloading the data. It's stuck at 87% apparently. No, that's alright. Don't worry about it. This may literally take a few minutes. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. Ah! Ow, 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 my ears! Giving one last half hearted swipe, the screeching carrot is swept into the arms of the larger monster. Without so much as a look back, the two creatures huff away in the depths of the forest. What, what was that all about? That was so mean at that little thing. At least we didn't get eaten. Ooh, I feel really dizzy from all that noise. Hello? Oh no, it's back. Chris, I'm gonna play dead, run. Chris peeks behind her friend, perplexed. I don't think... <clears throat> I don't think that's it. With a dramatic thump, Senny, Senny lands face down on the damp grass and stops moving. A figure with the appearance of a young girl and a her keen lower body weaves her way ca cautiously towards Krissa. Um, she doesn't look so good. I'd say we've had a kind of a long day. Are you all right? We've all been looking for the lake over there for a while. Water's running out, but for some reason we're going in circles. Oh, that's the barrier of the veil. It keeps intruders out. You look like you need help though. I'll bring you two in. Can you carry her? She can carry herself. Senny, come on, get up. Uh, Senny? Um. If you don't mind helping me move her... Sure. Five more minutes. I just came back from my trip. Wait, I'm still on a trip. Senny jolts up in a panic. 
finding she's now near the lake, they tried to approach. There was no sign of the monsters, no starlit fields, and no... Oh, Cressa, where are we? Wait, no, are you alright? Yeah, I'm glad you're awake. We're inside the veil now. Turns out there was a barrier preventing entry. Mael, uh, Mael brought us in. The fawn girl sitting on a nearby rock sets down her pan pipes and the surrounding ambience tapers off but lingers in the air. She smiles softly at Senny and folds her hands over her lap. I think I, I think I need some time to process all this. This is awesome! Look at this, and that, and that! Whoa, I almost forgot. What about the monsters? Peaceful inhabitants of the Vale. They're just a little particular. Peaceful. Right. I mean, this place definitely is. Do you live here? I do now, to take care of the forest. Did someone ha- did something happen? Many things have happened, damn here. And the forest is just one of many victims. Thankfully, life has gradually returned. The veil no longer weeps as bitterly. Wow! To think we came across a guardian of the enchanted forest! I'm honored, but no. I'm simply a caretaker. Your friend Krista told me you were traveling the land. Uh-huh. It was too dangerous to go anywhere for a long while. But I think things have calmed down. Besides, getting stuck there is boring. I could use some excitement in my young life. Kids stabbing each other. Stopping an old man from getting robbed. Scary monsters. Pretty wild, all right. On second thought, well, you're free to stay here as long as you like. If humans were are traveling once more, it won't be long before we establish amiable contact again. It would be nice to continue the academic trend, uh, tradition started so long ago, so I'm told. More berries? Yes, please! Wait, no, take me with you! Where did you get them? Jail, go look for seaweed, okay? That's how we got to know Miel. Boy, let me tell you. She talked about those monsters like they were nothing. Maybe it's in the music, huh? Anyway, thanks to her, we've also got a new destination added to our roadmap. A friendly stop in the north. You won't believe what used to be just outside of the veil. Ice. Snow. Really. Looking at it now, it's just a big sprawling forest. Well, that's for next time. Our journey is just getting started. Don't forget to tune in, alright? Senny's signing off, and remember, stay hydrated! That's right. Drink your water. Alright. I think that there's one more... Yes. Alright, well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, and enjoy the content, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And guys, have a fantastic day! And I will see you guys tomorrow. This is Lepar of Soap, signing out. Bye-bye.